Testing, testing. <laughs> I hate this. Oh, okay. Welcome back. If you missed it, I said hello, everyone. I also said the team statistics. I also said the map statistics. But it doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, we're going into the lobby. Oh, and I also complained about OCE. I also did that. Let's just jump across. I'm out. I'm done. <sighs> okay, so I'm just going to do a quick recap. Both teams are sitting very high up in the LPL brackets at the moment. We have 746 to sit in fourth. They went 13 and 6. They also went 14 and 12 last night against Sots Academy. Very strong match. Eclipse Esports are sitting fifth on the ladder. It'll be back on when picks start. Delay. Three minutes delay. Ah, oh, okay. Yes. Eclipse Esports, fifth on the ladder, two wins to zero losses. We have 13 6 against Cute Cactus and 13 6 against Team Kick It. Whoever wins tonight will be moving themselves to the second on the LPL actual leaderboards. Um, oh, I can't believe I was muted. That's. That's disappointing. Oh, thank you all for screaming at me in chat. I apologize. <laughs> Um, okay, let's get into the match. We do have the side of Eclipse Esports. They're going to be looking at runner 3 2 across the map, see what they can find here. Alas, Christos will almost get the kill. Instantly traded out there. Nice by Honda Civic. XYZ is going to swing around, but doesn't need to. Illy has already capitalized on the two kills. So, Eclipse Esports falls behind initially into the opening frag. Ulster's got a great crossfire on him, about to picks himself up. Even the scoreboard. Remaining. Oh, actually, no, it doesn't. It puts it down. Soon. Completely cleans it up. That was an easy little win for him. Ooh, I am. <laughs> I'm completely thrown off. I apologize, everyone tuning in. That was. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Oh, this is a nice. 746. Beautiful round there. Also sitting up here in mid plaza was able to get a beautiful few shots. Was soon here. followed up from yes. down towards catwalk onto the A site. Unfortunately, their push in the aggressive style from Eclipse Esports trying to find an opening on either side didn't quite work well as Illy shot that down with a great turnaround frag and was able to completely clean up over the A side, which gave him plenty of time and room to deal with. And Illy is going to sneak into wine here, which they might not suspect, especially if Vlad shows himself. And he is. So watch Illy. He's going to turn around. He's going to get one, two. He's got a few more shots left. He can't find it. He ran out of shots before he can deal with it. And now they're going to come on in. XYZ unable to find a kill. But Ulster up on top enemy of remote. Evan does manage to find two, and now we're left with Hark. Hark alone. Can he do it? Got three to find. It's got a monumental task, but XYZ with the quick flick and the Marshall shot will seal the deal. So, second round, we suspected that would go straight 746 as it was an eco round. They didn't lose too much, but they probably. Lost a little bit more than what they wanted. Great little hiding from Illy down into wine. Was unable to capitalize oh, on getting nice all spot. of them. Eventually traded out that weapon, which made it a little bit dangerous coming towards A. Here. So once again, we're getting a little bit of a split up on side of the map. See what kind of vision they can. Zeddy's got that flash ready for the kill. Joy Wasp to be able to have a little bit of a peek. They're gonna dodge. A little bit of a recon bolt as XYZ takes himself up in a little bit of a camping position up here on metal. But at the moment, neither team really finding the information about their opponents. We haven't seen any AL drones used. As I say that, it almost looked like we get an AL drone used. And we haven't seen too much of the map being taken. Middle's just completely uncontested at the moment. Hark's going to shut that down AL drone before it can find really anything. Not even get one of the darts off. I'm going to see the counter drone coming through, <laughs> making sure to check that wine. They're not going to get fooled twice. It would have been a little bit dirty there if Illy was hiding down towards wine a second time in a row. And it looks like they've decided where they want to go. 
Waspy and Zeddy are now making their way across grass and going to be meeting XYZ very shortly. Ooh, he shows himself and he's going to get out of there before he loses it. You do not want to be trapped Here. up there, especially when lots of people are going to be pushing you. Great little flash coming around. This is Cloud Flicker down, but Zeddy's already picked up the kill. Hark's in on sight. He's going to get paranoid, but it's not going to be close. It's too close. He finds himself that kill. Blast is going to have the wall shut down in front of him. But he's still planted. waiting. He may know that there's still one or two just looming outside at the moment. He's going to throw that Lyra. It's instantly shut down. That's going to confirm the suspicions as the flash comes on out. But there's no one there to follow it up. But Waspy doesn't need a flash. He's going to find himself. He soon is now spamming through the wall. But he doesn't need a wall. He's got to find Waspy as he takes a cheeky little peek. And he's going to get shut down. He does find one, but it's going enough. And coming from hell is the devil. No charges left. And they will pick themselves up the first round here. So, a little bit of a clean sweep across the round <laughs> coming from some of these teams. And we're going to be seeing an Odin picked up on soon, so you should be seeing a run at B site, which we do. It is Odin, Sova, kind of is the key combination on a lot of B sites at the moment. Oh, as it always has been, because being able to spam through this wall is just deadly. And we're going to be able to see a lot of damage coming through here if they do start pushing. We're going to clear that Trailblazer and then soon we're just going to get to work. But he's not going to find anyone here, they're just going to wait this out for a little bit longer. The shock dart, ooh. Hurts. Hurts a lot. And now they're going to have to avoid that damage coming out soon. It spends about 12 years reloading the weapon. The Cloud Burst is going to stop that out so they do not get seen on how many people are on this site. Ulster's going to be keeping an eye down towards mid. Make sure that anyone tries to do a little bit of a sandwich on this B site that they've got that capitalized was Illy has pushed quite far up A site. So they should know that there is a B presence from their opponents on Eclipse Esports. And Illy's going to find so much information. But will Illy be there for when the fight starts to run. break out? Which we start to hear that lockdown now comes on out. But you've got Soon there. He's going to be able to just burn the Brooders. But he hasn't been able to find it. I think it's just behind the box where he can't completely spam through. There's a lot of vision being denied here. Hark is now onto site and he's completely clear, completely backed away from the site 746, giving it up, ready for the post replay. And also finds one kill on a looming Richard who did not suspect someone to appear from that mist. Waspy's going to be keeping an eye on Ulster. Ulster's going to be quickly back it off standing. once it goes down. And now Waspy's alone as XYZ picks up one, two, three, and four kills. What an absolute banger of a round for XYZ. Putting it on his shoulders and completely capitalizing on that. He's going to have his Blade Storm up if he wishes to use it next round. But who needs to use your Blade Storm? You might want to save that for a little bit longer unless XYZ's going to be looking to get aggressive. So... Yes, I just got reminded on stream. Um, we do have. Who's next to me? <laughs> Here. Oh no, it's okay. No, I haven't. I haven't ruined anything <laughs> yet. The beautiful work by Seven Four Six there. Their ability to just retreat from the point when it all hope felt lost was great because they tactically retreated they gathered themselves up for Get the retake the and they waited for the numbers because you don't want to play on down a man advantage that's where the attackers have that favoritism when they can swarm that site so great little retreat there able to them turn that back around so what can we now see from eclipse esports you're going to be heard in a little bit this is an eco round because we do set the blade storm coming out from hark he's going to be holding it tight here Onto see what's going to be coming up. Going to be going to pick it up. He's Hunter's Fury. And that will go his way. So they're going to be ready for a post retake scenario. They've got the Seekers out if they wish to use it. Zeddy checking out Tree. Hasn't found anyone yet. Still making a lot of positional advantage here. 746 are happy to get up all the space and Zeddy with a beautiful shot will now pick up that weapon and is going to quickly throw out the Seekers and they're going to start finding the information. They're going to pick out another Sheriff shot. Oh my god, 746, they're just being taken out by Sheriff's at the moment. Oyster getting a beautiful little kill from that trap being initiated down to the bottom of the site. One's going to be sitting underneath hell of Zeddy. We're going to see Waspy trying to find himself a kill. Still hasn't managed to recover a weapon yet. And playing around with that switch is going to cost him his life. Honda Civic is trying to give a little bit of support to hell. It's not going to be enough. He needs to try and land the shot. He cannot. 
it has been a lot of damage done to 746 though, so that is a successful round for Eclipse Esports. They may not have won it, but they did a lot of damage. And it's going to be very hard for a lot of these players to buy up. Ulster? Oh no, Ulster's got plenty of plus. Never mind, they're all going to be able to buy up this round. So 4-1, four, 4 ultimates online now for 746. They are going to be set. And there's some very strong situational ultimates too. You've got the Cypher that's going to pretty much give away the game plan as soon as it happens, especially if it gets a cheeky frag. But we have seen Ulster play ultra defensive. We will not be seeing Ulster peak at all and just hold and wait for the rotation of his teammates. Where that's not necessarily the confidence of trying to take these first bloods and first engagements. Or prefers that style to sit back a little bit longer and find the kills and hope for... Uh, your teammates to rope, wrap on in in case you do go down and get those trades. Steady. Put a little bit of information out. Ulster's here with that Cypher cam. It will see instantaneous if Zeddy does take a step through these doors. <laughs> Zeddy knows what's up, but luckily he didn't get punished for peeking out that Cypher cam. Soon was keeping an eye on mid and was not there to get a few shots off. Great little crossfire set up over an A site, and they're giving up a lot of this tree space. They're fine to give this up because they're in a really good situation deep on A site and being able to trade if anything does happen. And you don't expect all the amount of players that are sitting there as you do. If now it's time to make your way on the site, Zeddy finds a kill and also, also takes a peek. Will soon be able to get a lot of damage. Get flashed twice. He's not going to be enjoying this, but he still gets the burst down with the Odin. A little bit dirty there as he is trying to spam through. He's going to start trying to deny that plant. He does not get that first hit, but he does slow down the plant a little bit longer. Sen is able to find that kill and brings out the blade storm. He is getting aggressive as the cloud burst goes on down. He gets a few daggers. He goes up in the air. He now sees one at the back of Boathouse. He's going to throw the cloud burst out to disorientate them. Just a little bit longer as these teammates start to come on in. We do have a Hunter's Fury available on that Honda Civic, but Honda Civic, he pushes up. He doesn't want to use his Hunter's Fury. He doesn't want to play defensively. And then XYZ gets a kill onto Waspy. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about that. You had the capability to play or to at least delay the bomb. Hunter's Fury gets you about four seconds, four to five seconds of the plant defuse that would bring you back to 12. Maybe a Nano Swarm would have got you an extra three or four seconds while sending the bomb. It would have been about six seconds too late um, to be able to hold off for that bomb to stop exploding. So in an essence, I think you can look at it two ways. You can look at it, A, it was calculated that they want to save the Hunter's Fury to a round that looks more advantageous from where they're standing. Or you can look at the other side of the coin where it was, you didn't really try to delay the web, uh, delay the spike defuse and kind of uh, lost any momentum you had there. And XYZ, unable to get the shot and instantly gets shut down, but luckily Ulster is there to capitalize, but it gets flashed on up. But they go through the Cypher trap, but it's not going to be enough. Zeddy's going to grab that, but... He hasn't picked up a weapon yet. He's now got a phantom to his name. He throws it back and picks up an operator. So good little teamwork there. Soon is going to be hiding a very tight angle here. And the trailblazer comes out. They didn't check it. He's going to be free. He gets one. He's going to spam. He's still going for it. But he cannot find a second. Honda Civic, however, can find that kill. Get himself onto the scoreboard for this round. Illy sitting here. Nice little change of positions of Illy. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Of, uh... <laughs> I've already lost the name of Richard to be able to just distract him enough. You gotta find a nice little kill there. The Empress comes out. Beautiful little kill there from Christos. Yeah, Christos. He hears a little bit of sound cue. He knows where Richard is now. Richard, he's a little bit confused. He did hear a few shots, but he's still a little bit unsure on how this is gonna play out. He's got the operator as now Vlas goes on to sight. Lass is still has been able to find it and throws the Leer out. The Leer is going to deny this a little bit longer. But Richard's very lucky. He's not taking a peek here. And he will find the kill. Christos Flask and the sixth round on top of it. Clutch. Whew. If you were here at the start of the match, you would have known. I spoke how I did. I was expecting this to be a close brawling fight. Both these teams have won in the LPL Amateur League. One match here on this side. But you all must have missed it. It wasn't, you know, production issues or anything like that. Never be the case.
But no, both teams, they have won one of their matches here. They are both playing off for the second spot on the LPL Amateur Leaderboards at this stage. Remember the LPL Amateur League, it runs for about 10 weeks and then it goes into a knockout stage. I'll make it a knockout stage for later points. And then the highest teams there will battle it out to score themselves a nice little taste of prize pool in the Amateur League. So, now we've got a 3-2 setup. Eclipse Esports really likes this 3-2. They like being able to create a little bit of presence on both sides, hoping that their clip rotation comes on out. But 7-4-6, they are happy to stand fast. They are not... They do not overcommit. They do not wrap around people before they feel like they need to, which could they could get them caught out a little bit, but at the same time, if they do not wrap, at least they have the big for the retake. XYZ is going to be putting their side up a little bit longer. Puts them up 5-3 five, five, now. Spike Christos down a. gets a nice little kill. One enemy and I remaining. wish I could press the right button to show you guys people don't, but I could not. So, unfortunately, we might have to see a save here. But he's going to be looking for it. He's making a lot of noise and XYZ did not hear the noise. However, Illy did. Illy's going to be sitting up high. Flash going to come out. He's going to pop around the corner. Oh, he hears the shots. He's going to be taking a little bit of damage there. Fortunately, that Hawk's not going to land a second time. Illy there being able to use the boxes for cover. So once again, that style of play, 746 is where they're not over-rotated, is not really giving Eclipse Esports anything to work with. Now they're going to go try and just barrel down this site. They have four, yeah. they have four orbs to work with. They got the Killjoy, and this might give a little bit of an inkling to their opponents that that Killjoy ultimate's online, they might be coming for the speed site. We saw this previously. They had that Killjoy, they had the Sova, but they were unable to really lock down that site to their capabilities. So, Zeddy goes in first, he's gonna hit by that trip right, he gets instantly burst down by Holster. Holster's doing a really well job at locking down and anchoring on these positions. And he somehow sneaks for Haas and gets a full kill! My god! Completely shuts down everything that Eclipse Esports had to offer. They didn't even get to use an ultimate. <laughs> oh, beautiful play there. Pushing through the smoke, catching the opposing jet off guard, and then finding the rest of the team to deal with. They suspected that Hark was going to be able to deal with that threat, but Hark wasn't. Hark lost track of where Zen went. Ten managed Here. to find lots of kills, and well, we all saw how the round ended. The beautiful work there from 746. So now it looks like Oops, Esports. I've got your they want to start trying to create a little bit of uh, map position in the middle. They've been very lackluster when it comes to the middle of the map. They're very happy to give it up and try and push onto the other side. Ark manages to find a kill and will find another kill on top of a Nano Swarm that went down to try and clear at that corner. XYZ's going to be hiding down here in hell and soon's going to be able to find two. He finds three, but he might not suspect any more. But Sen's still able to find kills. But now Oster's alone. He's going to throw out his hat, get a little bit of intel, and now he's up against the world. He's got a lot to have to go against. He's got a Killjoy who's got plenty of post-take deniability. They've got a Hunter's Fury. The stacks are against Ulster. How well can he do here? The alarm bot's gonna hit him, it's gonna be vulnerable. He gets a beautiful shot on one to seven! Great little flash, but no one there to fold up because also was standing a little bit back from that door. He's gonna peek around the corner, he still hasn't seen anything. He gets a second one! Also, he can hit this! No, he cannot! Waspy shuts it down so they can finally put a second point onto the leaderboard. Ooh, also, if anyone could do it this match, also was definitely the one, and he almost pulled through. Very key player on these sites. So speaking about lack of map control, Eclipse Esports, they haven't really been controlling this middle. They haven't, whenever they try and split up, it hasn't been working well for them because they generally lose one of the engagements on either side of the map and then they kind of fall behind there. So now it looks like they might want to see if they can grab a little bit of possession here 
The Aldrin's gonna come out, he's gonna spot XYZ, he's gonna be in a little, might be in a little bit of an issue here. He's just gonna hit spam through the wall as they all peek around the corner and shuts that down. So now they're starting to get a little bit of this mid control. Something that's gonna open up a lot of avenues of attack right now. Illy pops on out, he gets one with the knife out, but will get traded out. Honda Civic was on the ball, prepared to trade if any of his teammates had go down in those dire circumstances. Christos Vlas will be hiding up from window, keeping an eye down onto Tree. Does he get the appropriately timed peek? He gets a nice little tripwire and gets the kill down, as they were trying man. to go around the corner. They did not suspect the tripwire to be there. And now the lockdown ah. goes. It is three versus three. Hark, he's onto side. He's found himself one kill. He's going to be hiding underneath heaven. He's got only 11 hit points. If they decide to try and spam it, he could be very well be done and dusted as now the spike is starting to go down. Spike planted. They're going to hear the dart. Standing ahead. Through. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> through onto the sides. Found them. And they're going to get one. And beautiful. There we go. Hark. With the 11 HP. It's not going to be able to do too much. Wasn't he? Gets one remaining. shot through the wall. Can he clean us up again? He got it the first time. He got it the second time. Waspy with the help of Honda Civic. Able to secure themselves Last a second round, round in, in a half. row. They are starting to pick up momentum. And if you're going to pick it up anywhere, what, leading into the defending side on ascent is where you want to go. Especially three rounds win, you'll start to feel a little bit confident. You start to get into it a little bit. And then you can pick up that pistol round. Once you get that pistol round, the money starts flowing in. You start feeling the game and then you can start working against your opponents. So this is a very crucial round here from Eclipse Esports to be able to continue rolling on momentum and continue to feel out this game. But if they get shut down here, then it's almost a fresh start when we come into the second half. Nice little cam up there for the Cypher, being able to keep an eye at top of mid. No one's going to be peeking down there as of yet. Zeddy's made his way sneakily into the middle yet. Holster suspects something's up, keeping an eye down towards that gate. Lily's going to be keeping an eye towards the little cubby up here in mid. It's going to be coming up against Hark. Hark peeks around the corner, but Illy does manage to find that kill. So now it is four men left on Eclipse Esports as they come into the site. Make that three. Christos Vlaz sitting up on that. Now using the Empress to start getting a little bit more aggressive. Honda Civic does not have the horsepower to deal with this queen. Or this Empress. <laughs> as she gets a third kill against her name. And then soon gets another kill. So that's going to shut down any momentum that Eclipse Esports sunk to work towards in this half. But now they are on defense. How well and they're held up to their oppositions. 746. They do not have a defensive lineup by any means. You got the Rainer and Jet to be able to get onto sites. But that Cypher's not going to offer you too much when it comes to taking these sites. Great for the retakes, traps. Great for watching for any lurkers coming up from behind you. So they should be able to slow down any lurking capability from Eclipse Esports. But the way we're going, I can't see that Eclipse Esports wants to go for these lurks. They're trying to play together as a team. We can kind of see this on site. They're suspecting an A hit as it is. So will this be a do or die round for Eclipse Esports? Can they pick this up? Can they keep their momentum going? Zeddy's going to pop it out. Trailblazer gets instantly shot down. They should have had at least three different pistol shots. And they're going to retreat back to the door. They're getting ready to exit the site. Great little paranoia coming on out. Hark, he can't see. And he cannot find that kill. Being completely blinded. Ulster's back on site trying to find himself a kill. The door goes down and locks them out of sight. That's actually a good for, thing for Eclipse Esports. As it allows planted. them to start recoup and get their men, and men back onto site ready for that retake. Soon's found a lot of information that no one's coming up from behind. So you may see him wrap around. So at the moment, we've got a four versus four. Honda Sim able to find one kill. You see Zeddy down next to Jenner. He's able to get another one to go underneath site. They're going to throw out the recon dart, which is a little bit interesting. Crystal Vlaz does manage to fall against the Honda Civic. Now we have Soon. Soon gets a beautiful shot down, but he's defused at the same time. And then he gets a triple to finish off the round. Whew. 
Eclipse Esports, they'll take that. They'll take that any day of the week. But what we saw there was, we saw advanced kind of additional positioning. We got some map down towards A Lobby. We had Soon, he got very far down, that when they started to push in onto the site, it took him about 15, 10 to 15 seconds to actually get into the support his teammates. They were really Pick worried about off. that work. They already had a Cypher trap there. So if they had gone down, they would have been able to suspect that there was a work there. And that's what that Cypher gives you, that capability to protect against the lurks. He was also preparing for the uh, setting up his arrows for the retake. And I don't think he suspected his teammates to go down or them to hold on to the defuse as long as they did. Even it caught me off guard. I didn't know they started to defuse. And they got that real fast. There's still 17 seconds left on the clock. So a little bit of information is going to spot out the Cypher. Cypher is going to see maybe one on the side. They're going to hear the Marksman. But there's already a rotation over to the B side. They don't want to have to deal with that Marksman. Especially considering you suspect that Marksman to be as far back as possible. When you have a Frenzy and some Sheriffs, you don't really have that capability to deal with that. I'm sitting with a little bit of a judge. I know uh, over the last couple nights, uh, people believing that the judge might not be the most balanced of weapons, but that shotgun for you. Beautiful shot there. Gets the second. He's going to be able to retreat, dash it away without taking too much collateral damage there. And that leaves just soon, and Christos Vlas left to be able to fight here as they make land a point. Great little flash there, but Vlas does not matter about it. Christos Vlas grabs his second, and then they're on to the side. They're starting to even this game straight back up. What should have been an Eclipse round is now turned back around, but Richard with the beautiful marksman shot. He's going to get hit that lead, he's going to clear that out. You're going to see Vlas use that Empress very early. The Empress into this half, but the Spectre to his name. Great little paranoia, and they're going to hear the noise as he runs under. But are they going to be able to do enough damage? They will. Wasp, he picks up the kill. A little bit uh, hurt there for 21 hit points, as well as Honda Civic on 15. Thanks. But the 15 horsepower Honda Civic is all you need. You fail. <laughs> now sleep. So, Eclipse, the second round. We spoke about their momentum coming into this half. And here they've got it. They felt clean in that first round. Second round, a little bit more... A little bit scary there, but they managed to pick it up and they're still going to be having this kind of partial buy. You can see that they're not going to go up to the full equipment. They're happy to spend this round if it is a loss and spend it all into the next round. You don't go in for that kind of stronger little buy on two or three of your heroes, characters. Deep breath. Um, and then try and capitalize with them opening frags up so you can get the little bit of advantage and maybe secure yourself some weaponry in tow. So Huck's going to hear a lot of information, he's going to also hear the Owl Drone here, he's, he's having to take it on. He's lucky that no one was following that Owl Drone in. If they were following that in, Huck would have been a lot of issues. Nice little flash comes on out. I select the right person. Yeah, there we go. Huck didn't take advantage of that flash. Felt with that dark cover there that it would have been too risky, too dangerous. He's going to step back and soon, what in the loving... <laughs> manages to find himself a kill through that dark cover. And now the Leo goes on out. The Paranoia is also used to clear out tree. But no one's going to be there. But it's a good little execution there. So they could gain that map position. Hark's going to be sitting up on top. He's getting a few Fight shots planted. through. He's not being able to find any heads as of yet. Ulster might find himself too coming up from back here. Are they going to check this? Wasp comes on around. But he was running too fast out. Richard's going to be able to get that repair kill. Back over on site. Christopher Flass is going to be able to heal that back up after taking a lot of damage. Leaving Richard and only... Honda Civic left to take it, and Honda Civic with the ARES. The only time you'll be hearing his Enger picking up the horsepower. And they're going to throw at the Paranoia. Are they going to check Hell? Richard thinks about it. He doesn't get it. He was in movement, in accuracy, penalty. And unfortunately, the spray from Honda Civic could not do enough. Soon, Christos, Christos Vlas, with their coordination, able to secure the site able to get themselves a tasty little round win. So the shut down the momentum of Eclipse Esports. Once again, Eclipse Esports didn't have a full buy. They were going into that round a little bit of a partial and they were able to knock a little bit of weaponry out of their opponents, which now as you can see starts to hurt their piggy bank. They're going to have a light armor up on Illy and a little bit of a spectre, Let so it's not hunt. quite a full load out there, but it's quite full enough. If Illy plays defensively, Illy can pick up a weapon of a fallen comrade or enemy. 
Let's see how the drone goes in onto site. Got to secure a little bit of information there that Zeddy is taken up in the site, so they got to be prepared of any flashes. X, Y, Z. We haven't spoken much of this B site. B site has not been really attacked too well, and X, Y, Z actually managed to find an easy kill on Waspy. And now they've opened up the site here, and they're very aggressive positioning from X, Y, Z. He peeks around, gets another one. Can he find more? He cannot. But he's done so much for his team, and they've decided, no, we're out of here. We're going to rotate back over to yeah. the A site. And Ulster's going to be sitting at B, seeing if anyone's going to come and visit him over here. Just going to keep an eye on towards that middle. But this map, this round is looking heavily in favor of 7 4 6. Remaining. And Illy is going to continue the sweep. It's a little bit of a spray, but Richard is going to be able to manage to find a kill. He wants to survive here. But if he walks down to this choke lone, he's going to get hit. He cannot find the kill. Ulster will. And that's a second round for this half and the 11th in total for 7-4-6. Ooh, such a loose breath there. <laughs> so now, Eclipse, Battle they've got two dead. choices. They either force by it and try and bring it back before they go onto match points, or they play it safe and go for the seven round sweep. And it looks like here this they're going to force here. by it. So if they lose this round, this could be the end of the match for them. This is fast, they're going to go in. Great little peak coming down. Hulk gets one. He cannot find the second one. He did not able to swing it down fast enough, which is a little bit unfortunate. The Hunter's Fury coming on through. It's not going to be able to land. Waspy finds a kill on the other side on the work of Ulster. It is three versus three. The hopes, the dreams of Eclipse Esports in this match is on the line. Soon it's going to go up. And it's not going to be able to see it. Unfortunately, Richard gave away that it is there, but it's going to destroy that wall anyway. So they will suspect that someone was there anyway. You can see the relocate from Illy is going to be moving up towards back of grass. This ready. might catch out a few of Eclipse Esports. Sen's going to be... That Judge gets himself another kill. Judge being absolutely dirty there. Waspy's going to get shut down at that lurk because we all know soon likes to keep an eye out behind there and he's also there for the lineups of that Match shot point. dance. Now, we move into the potentially final round of this match. Let me see some of this weaponry come up on the side of Clips Esports. It's not going to be great. You all can see it. It is not comfortable round here for Eclipse. They're going to pick up whatever they can. A few judges are going to be holding these tight angles, hoping that a bunch of 746 members comes through and meets them head on. The Bulldog, unfortunately, is not going to be able to land there as XYZ. It's a fairly easy kill. They're going to push on in with that Leer on out. Honda Civic, though. He now has a weapon for the rest of his team. He's going to get blinded, however. He's going to throw out that Al Jerome which obviously did not get hit by that paranoia. He's going to be able to get some information. He unfortunately didn't see that anyone made it onto site, so he doesn't know how many are down there and how many are still behind planted. the inter main. As we can see, there's a little bit of a crossfire coming on here. Nowhere to run! Hunter Fury comes on out. Oh, he's going to be able to find himself a nice kill on that Hunter Fury used it, but he can't find another one. He's going to be spoken to the Seeker as Zeddy's now walking forward into the darkness. The flash is going to go up and high. It's going to go into the darkness. Uh, Illy's still trying to run away. And the Judd has managed to find it. Christopher Vlas is now here for three. The Empress, the Queen, what can she show us? Flash is on out, but it quickly turns. But the Judge is too strong there from Zeddy. This is one round. Don't even start they need that another shit. seven Oh, sorry, another six rounds. I can't math to be able to bring this into overtime. Ooh, let's see how well they can do it as they now start splitting up onto the map. Send up into default. Richard looks like he's going to stack onto A. They're going to be giving up a little bit of that mid ground position. Both teams don't really enjoy playing this uh, going for that middle positional advantage that oh, you see a lot of teams do play especially the NA region they love taking the middle of the map control and then rotating around from there on out they're just going to get destroyed. information of the Rainer sitting around the corner the Owl drone is going to come on in it's flashed it does manage to find itself a hit but there's no one there to capitalize on it XYZ managed to find itself a kill Richard going to be meeting the counterpart get but everyone's just way. dead 
this is not looking good for Eclipse Esports at the moment. Zeddy unable to find the kill, and now it's all up to Waspy. And that's how you want to start it. He might even look to use his lock down here because he's got not, nothing much to lose here. He's going to need to find four kills to be able to keep Eclipse Esports alive in this match. That's the second one. But he's down to 10 HP. Spike he gets planted. a little bit of a breeze that's a little bit too chilly down his spine. He's going to crack, crumble, and break. Now we will play it. There's a dagger, a few daggers, and XYZ Attackers wraps up win. the match. Eclipse Esports going down to 746, which means 746 will be moving to second on the LPL Amateur Seasonal Ladder. And they're going to be looking comfortable up there on 3-0. Eclipse Esports are going to move to about 10th or somewhere around the 10. Um, may even drop out of the top 10 on the leaderboards with this loss here tonight. So let's have a little bit of a wrap up of the scoreboards and just look at these first bloods. Huck was able to find a lot of map ground. In five first bloods here on a sense, but they didn't seem like they could capitalize on it. If they were able to get the first blood, it was usually traded out. They weren't able to get into sight. It felt like, especially with Ulster, Ulster did phenomenal on defense. Whenever you tried to get on site, Ulster was retreating. He was slowing down the push and just waiting for the rest of his allies to come in. He never wanted to take these engagements where he was outnumbered. And you see how well it worked out for him. I mean, 19 and 14, one of the highest, second highest on the leaderboards in terms of kills. So Ulster played really well there. The entire coordination from the side of 746 was done really well. You saw a lot of their executions where they were throwing the paranoias as they pushed on site. Almost got denied a bit by Zeddy and the flashes, but it just wasn't enough in the end. So, let us switch over this scene. So thank you all for tuning in tonight, but that is not it for the Valorant action. Well, it is here on this channel, but LPL underscore play, they have our legends. Legends or is it evolution? I think it's a... Uh, oh, I really should know this. <laughs> yeah, they got our Legends tournament on tonight. So there's some of the big names in the Australian Oceanic region. They are playing for you tonight. So I'm going to send you away there. We will be raiding it. Go check them out. Go continue to support the OCE scene. Thank you very much to Eclipse Esports and 746 for having me along. It's been a great game. Thank you everyone else for tuning in tonight. Hope wherever you are, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a good evening. So let's get our raid on.